Washington DC. Une première a eu lieu ce novembre 2019. L'ambassadeur Serge Mumbouli, doyen du corps diplomatique africain aux États-Unis, a organisé un déjeuner en l'honneur du sous-secrétaire d'État américain aux affaires africaines, Tibor Peter Nagy Jr. Les diplomates africains présents furent unanimes. Le sous-secrétaire d'État aux affaires africaines, Tibor Nagui, fait un travail remarquable pour renforcer les relations entre l'Afrique et les États-Unis. De mémoire de diplomate washingtonien, ce déjeuner est la première fois que le plus haut membre du gouvernement américain en charge de l'Afrique accepte l'invitation à rencontrer le corps diplomate africain à Washington. Le déjeuner fut une occasion unique pour les diplomates africains de solliciter avec ses membres, souvent très occupés, parfois difficiles à joindre, mais dont les diplomates africains ont besoin dans leur interaction avec le gouvernement des États-Unis. Au déjeuner, l'ambassadeur Mombouli a insisté sur le fait que ce n'était pas seulement la République du Congo, mais l'ensemble de l'Afrique qui avait souhaité la bienvenue à Nagui. Dear colleagues, we are here today to honor Secretary Nage, who is the Assistant Secretary of State for African Affairs. Ambassador Nage has very great experience for Africa. He has been ambassador in Africa before, and uh, you all know that. And uh, today he is in charge of all Africa to deal on behalf of the United States. L'ambassadeur Mumbouli a ensuite réaffirmé sa confiance dans les relations diplomatiques américano-africaines ainsi que dans le rôle du Bureau des affaires africaines du département d'État dans l'instauration d'une coopération plus étroite. Secretary Nage, his, his work is to deal with Africa on behalf of the United States and on, on behalf of his government, on behalf of the President of the United States. As you know, The White House think about the strategy of the president about the diplomacy, and the State Department is in charge of implementing the policy of the president of the United States by his authority, the policy of the United States, and that policy in Africa is implemented by Ambassador Naj. So for him to come here today is to show really that uh, the African Diplomatic Corps here in the United States count. I think in my tenure here, uh, I don't remember for the last 20 years, the day that we officially, as African Diplomatic Corps, hosted an as, uh, Assistant Secretary for African Affairs. Le déjeuner entre le corps diplomatique africain et le sous-secrétaire d'État américain aux affaires africaines, qui a réuni une équipe de huit collaborateurs de premier plan, a démontré l'importance diplomatique du continent africain pour le gouvernement des États-Unis. With the close cooperation that already exists between the Bureau of African Affairs and the African Diplomatic Corps, it is only normal that uh, we, the African Diplomatic Corps, host Ambassador Thibault Nage, in order to express our heartfelt gratitude and recognition to the tremendous work as he has already undertaken and continues to undertake at the State Department on behalf of the U.S. government to strengthen the U.S.-Africa relations. We, we would like to assure Ambassador Nage that uh, the African Diplomatic Corps in Washington can consider you as a true and reliable partner for uh, strengthening the relationship between your country and our continent. Thibault Nagui, érudit possédant une connaissance unique de l'Afrique, est l'un des plus éminents spécialistes de la diplomatie africaine aux États-Unis, un fait que l'ambassadeur Mombouli a tenu à saluer. Your rich experience of the African continent is well known as being posted before in the Guinea, Cameroon, Togo, Nigeria, Zambia, Ethiopia. Furthermore, your academic leadership in international affairs at the Texas Tech University, where you lecture on many occasions on U.S. diplomacy in Africa, has further confirmed to, to us that you are sincerely devoted to Africa and to the future of Africa, taking 
your consideration about the youth in Africa and your leadership also in Yali. As we each participate in this lunch, luncheon or lunch this afternoon, let us remember that we are here to share and express the common vision we all have for the African continent and the United States of America. Prenant la parole, le sous-secrétaire d'État, Thibaut Nagui, a remercié l'ambassadeur Mombouli ainsi que tous les membres du corps diplomatique africain présent. Mr. Dean, Monsieur Le Doyen, distinguished uh, ambassadors, distinguished colleagues, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I think that includes everybody here. Thank you very much for your kind words. Le sous-secrétaire d'État Thibault Nagui a rendu ses éloges à l'ambassadeur Mumbuli pour ses services avant d'exprimer la passion du Bureau des Affaires africaines pour le bien-être du continent africain. Mr. Dean, we greatly appreciate you doing this event because the one thing we share in the Africa Bureau is a passion and a love for the African continent. Now, we can decide which of the countries in Africa we represent. That's decided by those above us. But the ones that we are given, I promise you, we do the absolute best we can to advance our relationships. We are all Africa optimists. L'ambassadeur Thibault Nagui estime que, malgré les défis auxquels le continent africain est confronté, sa population dispose des ressources nécessaires pour réussir sur la scène mondiale et améliorer le bien-être et les conditions de vie de ses citoyens. And please consider us, your family, while you're away from home. And we look at this as a family gathering, as in a family meal. Mr. Dean, we really appreciate you getting us together on this occasion. And please, again, remember, the State Department's door is always open. And as the Dean said, God bless Africa, God bless the relationship between the United States and Africa, and God bless each and every one of you and your families. Thank you very much. À la fin de la soirée, plusieurs diplomates africains s'exprimant au nom de leur pays ou sous-régions respectifs on remercie l'ambassadeur Mombouli d'avoir organisé cet événement. To all ambassadors to raise our African champagne glasses <laughs> to honor the excellent relationship between Africa and the United States and also to honor the excellent work that the African Bureau is doing for Africa. Cheers. 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 Thank you again. Now, Ambassador Naj would like to say a word. And I would raise, like to raise a glass to you, the ambassadors and chargé d'affaires, for the phenomenal job you are doing representing your countries, and especially a glass to His Excellency the Dean for his warm welcome, his wonderful hospitality, and for his initiatives in so many different areas. Salut. Let me uh, first of all uh, uh, thank our Dean for uh, this initiative to bring together uh, the uh, African Diplomatic Corps and Ambassador Naji and his team. We are very pleased to have you here, Ambassador and your team uh, too. Uh, as, a, as a Dean for the North African region, I think I have a particular task. Uh, I would like to thank the Dean for reminding us that uh, Africa is one. And North Africa is, of course, part and parcel of the continent. And our motto since our independence was just to get one Africa, one continent, united for everything and against everything. So uh, I know that you have your particular uh, uh, organigram in the State Department and elsewhere that you deal mainly with Africa, the south of the Sahara, but uh, I would really like to uh, remind uh, uh, our uh, good friends from the African uh, Affairs Bureau in the State Department 
that we uh, sometimes in North African region feel like being uh, uh, put aside when it comes to African issues. And we uh, must be taken as such. Whenever African issues are discussed, we must be and we should be and we would like to be a part of that. On behalf of, of uh, ambassadors of ECOWAS member states, I would like to, to thank to the Dean to provide us this opportunity the, to, be, to be together with the, our Assistant Secretary for African Affairs and his team. Uh, it's important, I think, uh, that in diplomacy, uh, the personal connections are very important. And uh, uh, to have this opportunity to, to talk about our problems, our common problems, our relationship, is uh, is a, a very good a very good time and uh, i thank you for uh, this opportunity thank you very much to thank you very much for being present today the significance is not so much in <coughs> what was discussed but just the fact that we have got the opportunity to be together today and then show faces looking at opportunities that probably would need can flow from today and we want to thank you and your team for the very excellent work you are doing on, uh, on the African continent and actually also on behalf of Southern Africa for the excellent work you are doing in Southern Africa. So, uh, Dean, thank you very much for making this occasion possible and also for the colleagues who have made it possible, you know, we're able to be here. Thank you very much. I don't have much to say but to welcome the team from the State Department. Thank you so much, Assistant Secretary. It's a pleasure for us and uh, you have been one of the best partners in at the State Department. We are all happy to be working with you and uh, always here whenever there is any interest on Africa. And uh, we trust that you will be part of our discussion as we try to, to put our continent on the next level and I, I liked the fact that you said you are all in the family so I don't need to say much but thank you very much thanks I want to seize this opportunity to commend uh, President Trump administration for the new initiative that has been launched in fact if you look at them they treat Africa for the first time as well its national security strategy speaks of the Africa, and we want to commend that. Thank you. L'exubérance de l'événement semblait marquer une étape décisive pour une relation mutuellement bénéfique entre l'Afrique et les États-Unis. Une relation qui, historiquement, ne s'est toujours pas avérée aussi lisse qu'elle l'est aujourd'hui. Est-ce une pure coïncidence Ce nouveau départ intervient l'année de la commémoration du 400e anniversaire de l'arrivée des premiers esclaves africains aux États-Unis. Un anniversaire qui donne encore plus d'importance à l'événement, ainsi qu'au progrès réalisé depuis. La renaissance potentielle à laquelle pourrait contribuer la rencontre du 6 novembre ouvre ses pistes pour un avenir meilleur entre l'Afrique et les États-Unis. Un avenir dans lequel les deux puissances seront des membres dignes de confiance, respectés et prospères d'une famille des nations. Jacob Foucault, Blue World Media Network, pour la TV Congo.